Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. I've just been getting some uh, yellow, uh, cadmium yellow, and some of the uh, Elysium crimson to make a an orangey colour. Because I'm doing this painting. I might get a little bit of white in it actually. More the orange, orange and white. That's not bad actually. We'll start with this anyway. So I was on a walk of course. <laughs> Walking, looking up at the sky. And uh and I was like, oh, I really like the uh, the cloud formation and the way the uh, the sky had this sort of orangeness at the uh, the bottom. And I was like, mm, there's a painting in there, so here we go. <laughs> Got the old paints out, and I'm uh, getting my colours in. My yellows, my reds, just a bit of the lizard crimson, some white, especially for this area. This is where the uh, the sun was. No really light. Sort of bring it outwards. Was really interesting actually. Get some unbelievable sky sometimes, and uh, I thought, oh, I'm always looking for one. I'm always looking for one that's different. <laughs> yellow, a bit more yellow. It's probably a bit too yellow. That need a bit more red in it. And then up here as well. It's got a bit of red in it. So I'm just uh, really going for it to start with. <laughs> Looking at the uh, reference and then thinking about what I want to do at the same time as well. I want to capture the light. Oh, I think that's what I really liked. The light was amazing. I might use another brush. Another brush. I want to get that. There's a little bit of blue at the top that I want to get. Bit of blue, bit of white. I think when you get these uh, strong sunrises and things, you tend to get a bit of blue at the top. So I'll put that in. Just a bit of white and a bit of the uh, ultramarine blue. Right at the top of the page. <laughs> I want a little bit, a sort of a bit of the blue and brownish as well. There's, there is a bit of bluish in the cloud about there. But I'll put a little bit of brown in it just to dull it a bit. That's quite good actually. That works quite well. So what, what I'm doing get a little bit of the brown, a little bit of the blue and you, you make it more of a grey but it's grey to the blue side and I can start blocking in where some of the clouds are and then we 
I can uh, stop building this sky up. See, some of the paint is going to lift a little bit, but that's all right. I don't mind that sort of blending of the paint. I don't mind that at all. That is going to going to help actually. I want the, the colour to melt in a little bit together. So there's something else that I want to try and capture in the painting is this movement that was here. It was a very it was like a, a movement of almost like a swirl. So I'll try and capture that as I'm painting. Try and think about it. Try and get it in, in the mind that there's a swirl. There's that brown and brown and blue and create the shapes. Got a bit of white in it, a bit of white, brown and blue, and I can start bringing this part in as well. I'm really in the mood for painting today. You know how some days uh, you set up and you go, "No, nah, it's not happening." <laughs> today I'm like, I'm really in the mood for it. I really want to do a painting. I was itching to get started actually, and I was like, "I really want to do this one. I really want to do that. Make a interesting sky and." throw that paint on yeah there's this sort of light oops just blobbed a bit on there don't really matter too much there's a, a sort of a light grey that goes around around this and I'll kind of let it sort of wash together a little bit because we want to uh, bring it together because we don't want it to go from one colour to another we can create like a gradual colour without having really to blend much <laughs> Blending. That was the only, that was like the one thing that I really wanted to do when I first started painting. It was all about hmm, how do I blend paint? <laughs> kind of got obsessed with uh, how to blend, but actually, some of the blending you do when you're painting, it's not even. Uh, you know, not a specific like, oh, I really want to blend this. It just sometimes happens organically, really. That's what I think, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> These colours in there. So we need to, uh, it's starting to come together already actually, I'm getting this nice sky, almost a sky that I think could be made up, <laughs> that's what this sky reminded me of, uh, you know when you're trying to think oh wow can I make up a really good looking sky that's going to look really cool. <laughs> this is what this sky was to me, it was like that, one of these. Fantasy artist sky skies. You think, well, they may somewhat they would make up, but this was real. <laughs> so I'm going to make a darker color for my clouds, blue and brown. Might go a little bit lighter actually. Maybe to the blue. That's not bad. 
make a darker colour there and have it next to my light colour and we can start um, bringing some more life to the painting start looking at some of the uh, different shapes in the clouds, the darker areas Sometimes I'll, I'll just use my finger to smudge an area, maybe it's because it's not the way I wanted it, so maybe it was a bit too much and I, I needed to tone it down, I just use my finger and just smudge it. Good old smudging technique. I'm still trying to get that. Suppose it's like an immediacy. <laughs> I've got some big words in me today. Immediacy. I think that's what it is. That's what I'm trying to get. An, an, an immediate reflection of what I saw. The shapes. And try and get it in paint. So when someone looks at it, they go, oh yeah, that's a cool sky. He's probably made that up. <laughs> and if that's what they think, job done, isn't it? <laughs> Little do they know. Oops. It's based on reality. Starting to get somewhere now. I capture some of this light here. So there's a bit more, uh, there's more shapes, more cloud shapes there. I like that one there. I like that. I like this here. And then what we need is the tree line. We'll get that tree line in, I think. And while that's drying, then we can start putting some more, more lights and colours in. Build it up a bit more. A bit more blue. There. But you see how you can uh, use washes and just develop colours a bit more you wanted to let it dry and stick another layer on if you want. You could do a lot actually with paint. You could do a lot more than you think you can actually. <laughs> when you start uh, just experimenting with paintings. So I'm mixing a dark but I've gone for a dark with a red. I've got some crimson, some blue, some brown and some red. So, so we've got, got a warm dark for these trees. There's some trees here. And, uh, my paint's a little bit watery at the moment. It's a bit more of a watercolour um, type paint, but, but I'm using acrylics. <laughs> Trust me, I'm using acrylics, honest. We've got this dark down here. Nice dark area. Looking at all the trees, the tree shapes. Using a bit of that red to warm areas up. Something like that. And then 
below there there's like a, a bit of a green so I'm just going to make a green using blue use that ultramarine blue and some cadmium yellow make our green I haven't actually washed my brush. I've still got the dark on there, so you get a little bit, a bit of everything. <laughs> Had a bit of a computer issue there. <laughs> Luckily, it's still recorded, so I lost anything. So let's carry on. I get some uh, blue, I mean some red, some blue and yellow. Carry on with our green. We'll bring the green down to about there. I just use my finger just to uh, soften that edge there where the trees are. It's quite nice. I'm going to flip to another brush. This is a uh, a watercolour brush, but I've used it quite a lot, so it's got a nice uh, a nice ability. I'm just tapping it. I get a little bit of paint and then I'll just tap it like that. It's got a good ability to make trees <laughs> because it's been used. So I can use it to tap in some uh, tree shapes back here. I don't want my trees to all look uh, I want I want like a I suppose I, what I want is that a bit of air in there so you get like the shape and then you get the sky showing through I think that's what I'm trying to say <laughs> communication Sometimes you just do stuff and you don't really think about it and and then when you you say it, it actually makes you a better painter. I find like doing videos like this because I'm saying things makes me a better painter because I'm reminding myself what I'm doing. <laughs> I might put I throw in a little bit of yellow in there. I think it maybe you would see a bit more there the tree tops maybe I'll just have a hint because to be honest I don't really mind about this that much not really it's not the focus that's what I'm trying to say not the focus there's a bit of a shape there where the uh, ditch is. There's a ditch that goes along there. So we'll just use a little bit of colour to indicate it and then we've got a tree that grows although it grows here I'm gonna have it growing about here because I don't want it to uh, mess up this. <laughs> 
And then I also want a bit more light. Some white in the uh, yellowy colour. Might need to go pure white in this area. It's interesting because it's got some quite nice light there as well. A bit more yellow in it. Use my finger just to uh, make it disappear a bit. <laughs> More that white colour. getting that light now it's really looking quite get bright it's getting bright there which is good it's all, there's also a bit of light that breaks out here as well and there. Something like that. Because this uh, orangey colour, it, it does have like breaks in it. I suppose it's all like clouds and things. It's not just pure orange. Like that. How's that look? That's quite good actually. That is looking pretty good now. And uh, now, do you find sometimes when you're painting, you think, hmm, oh, well, that looks better than I thought. Better than I thought that I was going to do. It's a good feeling that is when things work out. <laughs> I mean, I've done paintings that haven't, of course, but it's always good when you get that feeling and you're like oh yes <laughs> I'm adding a bit more to some of these areas that's just a bit more dark course the good thing is when you add in dark it makes the light lighter that is a good thing especially when you want to create something bright like this Ultramarine blue in my colour. Something like that. Hmm, that works quite nicely. 
something else that I can do. Go really dark and sort of just put in a few shapes over here. Just because it's further away from the light. Just give it a bit more, a bit more to it. I I'm really liking that actually now. And uh, so now I'm going to use my number two rigger brush. Number two rigger. It's quite the brush. And I'm just grabbing a load of colour. Blues, browns, to make a dark, a nice dark, really. Look at that! <laughs> it's like a dark, uh, dark reddy brown. Perfect though, for what I want. Because there's a tree right here. I'm gonna get that branch there and then he goes there it's another main branch there there This one's kind of been cut off there, and it sort of goes. Just looking at all the different branches, painting some of these in. Oh, there's one that goes like that as well. Goes. There we go. You can just about see it. some of the major ones in and then I'll use this tiny brush and I can put in some of the other ones I think that'll do. I don't feel like I want to put millions in in this one because it's really a, a secondary kind of thing. That tree, the primary is the light. So the next thing is there is a bush here. Sort 
goes there. <laughs> Kind of a, I suppose it's a leading now, it sort of leads in to the painting. But that is about it, really. I think we've caught the light quite good now. It's it's broken in. Maybe there could be a bit more there. I'm just using my finger. Get a little bit of paint on my finger. There's a bit. I think there could be there. That breaks that. Bit there. I think we're about there, really. I don't think any more is needed, we don't want to lose the, uh, what's that nice word I said, immediacy. <laughs> Makes it sound like I know what I'm talking about, um, but I'm just messing around really. So, thanks very much for watching this episode, nice, cool, moody sky, a lot of shape and action. So hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you at another one. Cheers, bye.